Well, Campbell Rivers' Chris Fredheim is making his NHL debut tonight in Minnesota. The former Victoria Salmon King has been called up from the Minnesota Wilds AHL Club and will be paired up with the Comox Valley's Clayton Stoner. And they aren't the only Islanders playing defense tonight. Minnesota is home to the Colorado Avalanche. Victoria's Ryan O'Byrne patrols the Avs blue line. Well, the top WHL players were on display last night in Regina for the latest installment of the Canada-Russia Super Series. Regina Pats forward Jordan Wheel broke a 2-2 tie late in the second period en route to a 5-2 victory. Victoria Royals forward Kevin Sunder back from injury didn't hit the score sheet but was happy to represent Victoria. Not too bad. Um, obviously first game back I felt a little bit slow out there but uh, you know, I tried to compete and do what I could do and uh, that's all I could control and I thought I did all right. Do you think you, you showed what you needed to a guy like Tony I mean I don't think it was the best game but uh, you know, I tried. I tried and uh, you know it's that's all I can really do. And if, uh, if I get the call, awesome. If not, uh, just go with that. Uh, move on with business. Well, Sunder picked up a couple of penalties, but is hoping he did enough to impress head coach Don Hay, who is picking this year's World Junior squad. The sixth and final game of the series is now underway in Moose Jaw. Well, if you're wondering what to do with those bottles and cans that are taking up space in your recycle bin, a linebacker on the Belmont Bulldogs varsity football team would like to take them off your hands. Matthew Pastro has been selected to the U15 squad that will represent Canada at the East Bay Youth All-American Bowl January 3rd to 9th at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas. One of two island players chosen, Matt and his teammates, will be hosting a bottle drive this Saturday from 12 noon till 5 p.m. at Belmont Secondary. They're hoping to raise $4,000 to send Matt and his mom on this trip of a lifetime. I was overwhelmed because it's been a dream of mine and a goal, so it was really hysteric. We're trying to build a, a really good program out here that, that support each other, that help each other in the classroom, in the school, everywhere. So this is one opportunity for us to help a guy who has been a great team player, great team leader, and try and help him get to you know a great opportunity for him and for us. Because if he's if he does well and he's competing, and hopefully you know down the road more of our kids can get that opportunity to go down to Team Canada as well. Again, the bottle drive Saturday, 12 till 5. Matthew will be also be a starting linebacker for the Bulldogs in a big game Friday. Belmont will host Howe Sound in the semifinals with a berth to the provincial championships on the line. Kickoff is at 4.30 p.m. Friday at City Centre Park in Langford. The CFL West final is just four days away and the BC Lions were preparing to face the Edmonton Eskimos at BC Place today with crowd noise blaring. It'll be the biggest game of running back Andrew Harris's his career. The former VI Raider All-Star has proved he belongs in big pressure situations and is looking forward to putting on a show for some of his old friends. Coach Snoop, um, a bunch of the old players and stuff, a bunch of coaches are coming over, so it, it'll be fun for them to come watch. But I gotta be, I gotta stay calm and collective, you know, it's, it's a build-up, right? You don't want to get too excited, be a, it's too soon to the game, so, uh, you know, it's just, just getting your rest and, uh, you know, it's the biggest game of my career, so uh, he's, he's got to take it all in stride. Go Andrew Harris and the Lions. Uh-huh. Be a great way to end the season. I want to go to the Grey Cup and I want to see the orange and black there. Me too. Me too.